its Zero Waste Week in Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary is raising awareness about the dangers of plastic. Take a look. Plastic, it can be a harmful material, especially when it comes to our sanctuaries. They never go away, they just keep breaking down into smaller and smaller pieces, and then they can find their way all around the world, not just here um, for our local waterways, but out in the oceans as well. Empowering kids to raise awareness of the dangers of plastics, Waters will have students from Lincoln Elementary School and All Saints Elementary School participate in some pretty unique activities this week. We take a look at the albatross, which was a huge seabird that lives in the Northwest Hawaiian Islands, and they actually, um, when they're chicks, um, the parents feed them and before they leave the nest and get ready to fledge, they uh, throw up items that they can't digest. I know, kind of gross, right? <laughs> uh, that they can't digest and what comes out is called a bolus. So the students will dissect these while they're here and it's a, a very um, eye-opening, hands-on activity to see what kind of direct uh, problems this can cause for um, animals in our environment um, when plastics um, enter the waterways. Although plastic can be harmful, it's a useful material. We need, we definitely need plastic um, for important things, the medical industry, for transportation. They make things like cars lighter and more fuel efficient. So um, there's great uses for plastic, but I think we need to take a, another look at things, especially single use plastic. So those would be items that are made to be just used one time and thrown away. Water says there's a cool app that everyone can use to raise awareness on reducing single-use plastic items. You can put a hashtag on what type of litter it is and then you can um, upload it to the Literati, Literati site and uh, that keeps a collective database of trash. To learn more ways on how you can become involved in Zero Waste Week, head on over to WBKB11.com. For WBKB News, Star Connor.